what's up guys welcome back to Danganronpa trigger happy havoc we're back with part number four and we're about to do the trial now I'm not sure if I'm going to continue this series long term um, because the support isn't really that great but if we can get 40 likes per part maybe it'll pick up now that the trials are here and uh, people will want to see my reactions to that but let's jump in let's check it out and uh, let's try and find out who killed our girl Sayaka. Let's finish the preparations. I don't have any skills to set, so I tried that. I just looked at the truth bullets and we're let's ready to go. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. Okay. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, what happens? Then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Okay. And the killer really is one of us, right? Of course! Okay. Okay then. Everyone, close your eyes. And whoever did it, raise your hand. What? Don't be a goddamn idiot. Why the hell would they raise their hand? Before we move on and start the trial, can I ask a question real quick? What are you asking? What's going on with those pictures? I'd feel awful if they got left out just because they died. Friendship penetrates even death's barrier. Right. Friendship penetrates. Okay, you might have chilled, okay, bro. Okay, but what about that other empty seat? There were only 15 of us to begin with, so why are there 16 seats? Good question, Celeste. Oh, no reason. It's just that our little courtroom here can technically fit up to 16 people. Okay. That about does it mm. for the preamble. I don't know about get that. Ready to get started. That seems sus. First up is the Why case Why would they summary. even mention that? Now, let the class trial begin. All right, a case summary of the trial. The debate to decide who we think the killer is. Anything I found, anything I noticed, I have to be ready to speak up about everything because this isn't just about me. Everyone's lives are on the line. Your first non-stop debate is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Absolutely. As things progress during each class trial, you will engage in a number of non-stop debates. During these discussions, characters will speak one after another without pause. It's up to you to unearth any lies or contradictions buried within their statements. Okay. What this means is that you'll have to use your truth bullets to refute what they say. Any relevant truth bullets you found during your investigation will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use the left stick to aim, then fire with the Y button. Wait, really? Okay. Use your truth bullets to blast the right ones. Oh, Lord. I am... Um, Note that if you run out of time, you will automatically f fail, so please be careful. If you press the menu button during these arguments, you can review the controls. Well then, good luck. Okay, thank you, buddy. All right, I should have maybe studied that. I thought we'd be able to look at the truth bullets during this, but... Evidence of a struggle. I assert that the one who was murdered was Miss Sayaka Maizono. Yeah, oh, shit, you know that part already. <laughs> and the murder took place in Makoto's room. Yeah. In the bathroom. Yeah. So it seems most likely that the killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. She didn't even have a chance to resist. Something's off about what was just said. Because if Sayaka hadn't resisted at all, there's no explanation for what happened to my room. Yep, very true. This first debate, we'd like to take a quick sidebar. If you're unable to spot and refute someone's lies or contradictions, the argument will repeat. Within a group of statements, some words appear in a different color. Did you happen to notice? That represents a potential hole in the personal statement, a possible weak spot. Those weak spots reveal important, though not always inaccurate, sections of a person's statement. Your troop bullets are only effective against these weak spots. So when you see one come up, take aim and fire, but only if you're sure it's actually wrong. Also, you can fast forward an argument by holding down the B button. Well then, good luck and have fun. Okay. I assert that the one who was murdered was Miss right, Sayaka Maizono. Um, 
Yeah, Chibi was part the one that's lying. Lady. What's her name again? I and can't remember. And the murder took place in Makoto's room. So I have to press Y, right? In to the uh, I have to press Y to fire. Evidence of a struggle. So it seems most likely that the killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. She didn't even have a chance to resist. That's a lie. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> Break. Okay. Just a second, Chihiro. Try to remember how my room looked. Try to remember. With the way things had been damaged, I think we can definitely assume there was a struggle. Damn right. A struggle? Between who and who? Between Sayaka and the killer, of course. So you're saying... Sayaka wasn't caught by surprise in the bathroom? No, she was not. She must have been attacked in the main room first. Then, she ran to the bathroom to try and hide. The killer followed her in, and that's where they finished the job. Yeah, that much should have been obvious after taking one look at the scene. It shouldn't even need explaining. All right, Biaka. Sorry. Yeah, come on, Chihiro. Okay, what are you up to? Okay, so what's next? Next is the subject of the murder weapon. Wow, this is starting to sound like a real trial. <laughs> we need to determine what was used to kill Sayaka. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Make your argument. Kitchen knife set, yes. So what was used to kill her? a good question, Sakura. Was some kind of sharp object thrust into her stomach. Without a doubt, that is the murder weapon. So the killer used some random knife they had on him. How could Not anyone some do knife. something like that? That son of a bitch. Because the object was uh, that was thrust into Sayaka's stomach, it was almost certainly the knife that disappeared from a certain location. So what was used to kill her? Yeah, I thought I just pressed Y on this. There was some kind you of gotta go through it again, is that what it is? Twist without a doubt. That is so the killer used some random knife. Bang! No, that's wrong. I love the way he says no, that's wrong. <laughs> no, that's wrong. Break! No. I do think it was a knife, but not just any knife. I'm almost positive it was a kitchen knife. Mm -hmm. Huh? A kitchen knife? Yep. After the murder, we discovered that one of the knives from the kitchen was missing. Which means that knife must be the murder weapon. Indeed. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. You could sort of see the weapon sticking out of her stomach. Mm -hmm. And if you look real close, I could totally see that being a kitchen knife. Okay, so the murder weapon was a kitchen knife, but where does that get us? Not really anywhere. <laughs> I mean, we all know Makoto killed her, right? Well, shut up, Leon. That's right. Makoto's room was the scene of the crime. What more proof do you need? Shut up, Fukawa. Hold on a second. I'm... These idiots. Let's draw our conclusions after we've presented our arguments. Otherwise, what's the point of the trial? Thank you, Kyoko. You're smart well, at least. we can talk all we want. It's not going to change that conclusion. I don't think that's true at all. I'm sure if we keep at it, something new will reveal itself. Leon's a dick. Do you really believe that? Yeah, she does. There's got to be a breakthrough somewhere just waiting for us to find, because I know damn well I'm not the killer. True. There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Would you like to hear more? Absolutely. Tell me. You can concentrate by holding down the right bumper. Okay. While you're concentrating, time will slow down so you can pay closer attention to what everyone's saying. On top of that, it'll steady your aim, making it easier to target potential weak spots. Concentrating like this consumes the focus gauge, and if this gauge empties, you can't concentrate. But the focus gauge will recover over time, so let your brain take a rest. No need to rush. Well then, good luck and have fun. Okay, thank you. Sounds good. Make your argument. AoE's account. Yes, you see, she said that someone uh, did go into the kitchen. So I guess there's no question that the kitchen knife was the murder weapon. But where does that get us? Yokoto must have taken it from the kitchen, right? Nope. You did it in secret. Nobody was in. No. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> 
Okay, wait. Hold on. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. Hey, we you're saw this. Gonna say you're on. not the killer, right? Go ahead and say it all you, you want. Shut up, you little loner. Well, what if I have a witness? What do you think, Hina? Yeah, come on, Hina. Huh? Don't back out on us now. Remember what you were telling me earlier? Well, I went to go get some tea from the kitchen last night and the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Yeah. All right. Just I'll tell to be the truth. perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you were in the dining hall, correct? Yep. Y yeah, that's right. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? Um... No, I don't think so. You don't think so? No, think so. he definitely wasn't there. The knife disappeared while Hina was in the dining hall. But Makoto I wasn't there the entire time. Here. In other words, there's no way I could have taken the knife. Damn right. Okay, then what about this? Let me hear it. Come on, what, what do you got? the go? idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are in on it together and lying to protect each other? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. Idiot swimmer girl? <laughs> oh, and more importantly, why would I get involved in something like that? Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you Good ask, question. and so I shall answer. Good Each question. murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. No point in being an accomplice then, is there? <laughs> so in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Yeah. Then That's there's stupid. no way anyone would work together, right? I can't but see why. What if they did work together and they just didn't know about the rule? Ugh, good grief! Enough already! No, okay? There are no accomplices in this case! <laughs> He's just straight up telling them there's no accomplices. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? <laughs> anyway, I didn't go to the dining hall, and I didn't take the knife. So I'm not the killer. Okay, so then, who did take the knife? Yeah, she did she not see the anyone? Candidate. After all, she just said she was in the dining hall. No, no way! I swear it wasn't me! <laughs> sure. I don't think it was her either. But can you or anyone else prove that? I can. Okay. That's right! Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea. Okay. Uh, I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's... Me. <laughs> Leon's right. such a dipshit. But then, couldn't either one of them have grabbed the knife? Actually, no. Because, um, well... Just spit it out already. I stayed in Hina's room last night. Oh, what? I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking, I just asked her to stay over. Okay. Which means, we have airtight alibis. You stayed over? Doesn't that violate one of the school regulations? Oh, Fukawa. Oh, Fukawa. She's such a little nerd. <laughs> you need to just... She needs to get digged down or something. We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the dorms. But it doesn't say we have to stay in our assigned room. True. So, I don't think that's a problem. It is a problem! A boy and a girl spending the night together? It's... it's unwholesome! But I'm a girl. What? You are? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. But if it wasn't either of you, then what other possibility is there? Actually, there is one other possibility. Right, Hina? Let me hear it. Oh yeah, that's true. One Who other was person it? did come to the dining hall while we were there. Who? Why didn't you say so in the first place? Well, because they're not here anymore. Oh. Shit. Oh. 
Sayaka. She's the one who came to the dining hall. And then later... Oh, maybe she, she got the knife dead. herself to protect herself. And then that was the weapon that ended up being kill uh, killing her. Okay. So the person who took the knife from the kitchen was... Manukuma. Sayaka. I got it! That's to have been, right? Sayaka is the one who took the knife? That's the only possibility. Does seem like that. And thinking back on it, she was acting kind of unusual. Hmm. When she came into the dining hall, she didn't even look at us. She just went straight to the kitchen. As she left, she said she just wanted a drink of water. But most likely... Then the person who took the knife was the victim herself. Hmm. I'm sure... I'm sure she just took it for self-defense. That's what I was thinking. So you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her and she was killed with it? In the struggle, maybe, In yeah. In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. What? Oh, God. See? He did do it after all. I hate no, this trick. No, you're wrong. So, that's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong I direction? I literally just said it with Sayaka, dude. Like, come on. Hmm. Yeah. You possess a most terrifying talent. Look at the, the little bar to the left. He looks like a fucking cow, man. <laughs> Uh, if I don't do something, they're gonna blame me for the murder. Don't they understand? If they convict me, everyone's gonna Hold die. On. It's still too early to decide. Kyoko is the only Makoto reasonable the killer. One. Like genuinely. What you say? Yes. Because you see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. And until we unravel that little mystery, you simply can't the, um, declare that he's the, the door? killer. The door. Bewildering. What the hell are you talking about? Essentially the door, I think, right? Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by all rights should have been there. Oh. I don't know then. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Do I? Your first hangman's gambit is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Yes. Always yes. As things advance further in a class trial, the hangman's gambit will eventually take place. The point of this is to, re uh, to reveal an important phrase related to the incident in question. You'll have to deduce the phrase from the letters flying around and the letters already known. Complete the phrase by shooting down the flying letters in the right order. Use the left stick to aim, then press Y to shoot the desired letters. Okay. If you shoot down the wrong letters, you'll suffer damage to your influence gauge. This gauge reaches zero. If you run out of time, you'll fail. Good luck and have fun. Okay, great. Something that should have been at the scene, but that wasn't. That must be the crucial point. I don't know what that is, though. Um, What is it? I don't know. Hangman's Gambit! Something that should have been at the... I'm just trying to think. H and I. So... Potentially a hair hair. Yes. Yes, of course What is it not here There we go, why did it not work the first few times now I understand <laughs> I, I swear I did it the exact same thing the first few times that it just didn't work. That's right There wasn't a single hair on the floor. Yeah, so, the culprit removed some evidence? Yeah. Yes. Why would I do that? And if I were the culprit, why would I need to get rid of all the hair in my own room? It wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the crime scene if the crime scene is in my room. The reason all the hair was gone was to remove any trace that Sayaka had ever been there. That makes sense, does it not? But why would I leave the body there? No. If that were the case, they would yeah. have had to do something about the body itself, not just That makes her no hair. sense, Celeste, you idiot. Ha ha ha! Yes, very true, very true! Okay, Yamada then, is such why a wasn't there any <laughs> hair on the ground? The killer got rid of it all, of course, to remove any trace that they had ever been there. Wait, then that means... Precisely. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one and the same. Thank you, Kyoko. Saving my ass again. Then Makoto isn't the culprit? No. 
Are you sure we can decide something so important based solely on the absence of some hair? No. There are other reasons that prove why Makoto couldn't have done it. I would like to hear these reasons. Yes, me too. Do you too. remember anything remarkable about the bathroom yeah, or the, the scene? Yeah, the door. Like, I know how to open the door. Sayaka was attacked in the main room first, then fled into the bathroom, right? Yep. Yeah, then they ran after her, got into the bathroom, and stabbed her. And how Thanks did the that. killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? Seems what like do you they mean? Did. It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. There was clear evidence left behind. Do you remember, Makoto? I do. I do. The object the killer broke. Uh, where is it here? The bathroom door frame, the bathroom doorknob, the object the killer broke. Well, I mean, they're the same thing, aren't they? Door frame, I, I definitely the dorm door knob, so. Yep. I got it. We got it. Evidence that the killer had trouble getting into the bathroom. You're talking about the doorknob, right? Huh? The doorknob? What doorknob? Yeah, shut up. You, you hippie. The doorknob for my Fine. bathroom. It was completely broken. See how the top part was unscrewed? And the doorknob's about ready to fall off? Oh, yeah, true. If Makoto what, had just been an alpha male and stayed in the room with Sayaka, we'd be fine right now. In trying to bypass the lock, they ended up nearly removing the entire doorknob. This is another most bewildering act for the room's owner. It proves Makoto is beyond suspicion. So what? You're saying he wouldn't break the door in his own room? But if the only choice you have is to break it, you break it. There's nothing bewildering about it. Hey, shut up, You man. still don't see? Okay, then. Let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Hopefully that will help you understand. I know how to open it. That's the thing, Leon. Kyoko said it was a bewildering act. I almost didn't notice that at first, but is that the key point here? There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Okay. The number of weak spots, uh, weak spots will start going up, but no matter how many weak spots, there's essentially only one lie or contradiction in that debate. Okay, what I'm trying to say is not all weak spots you see are necessarily false. Use a truth bullet on the wrong one, and not only will you fail to refute what they said, but you'll also lower your trust with everyone, and your influence gauge will take damage. Now, this is important, because if your influence gauge reaches zero, you fail. You'll have to rely on your own logic to determine which weak spot are actually lies or contradictions. Well then, good luck and have fun. Thank you. Thank you, pal. Bathroom door frame. Let's go! The incident took place in Makoto's room. Sayaka was first attacked in the main room. That's true. She then fled into the bathroom. That's true. Then the killer ran after her. And they got into the bathroom. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door because Sayaka had locked it. And finally, the culprit Wait, I tried had Sayaka to... cornered. My door to doesn't lock. The job, they stabbed her with the kitchen knife. It was you, wasn't it, Makoto? I admit it. I tried we to goddamn shoot the thing the before, but it didn't work. It's not because the door was locked. No, there's a different reason entirely. The incident took place in Makoto's room. Yeah, see, I Sayaka tried to, I tried to shoot that before, but room. it didn't work. She then fled into the Wait, we only have nine minutes here? Is that for the whole then trial? Then the killer ran after her. Not, surely not, And they got right? into the bathroom. Yeah, I need to make sure to slow it down here At when he's talking. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door. Because Sayaka had locked it. Boom, gotcha, sucker. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. She hadn't locked it, because my door doesn't lock. The reason my bathroom didn't open wasn't because it was locked. Yeah. After all, the girls' rooms are the only ones with locking bathrooms, right? Yes. Yes. Now that you mention it, that is true. We're getting places, then baby. Why didn't your bathroom door open? Because it was stuck. Huh? What are you talking about? Leon sus right now, isn't he? Leon sus. I swear, I think it. Like, uh, more and more as this trial goes on, I'm starting to think it was Leon. 
Like, I think Leon's been the most sus so far, at least. But we'll see. My bathroom a lot of time door to go. doesn't fit in the frame quite right. He's trying to blame me hardcore as well. Monokuma over there can testify to that. Yup, true as true can be. <laughs> but you know, you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But to have such a cruddy door. Not very lucky. <laughs> That's not lucky at all. So the reason the door didn't open was just because it was stuck. Yeah. But the killer didn't know that and assumed it was locked. So they tore apart the doorknob to get in. Okay, but then why would the killer even think the door was locked in the first place? Everyone should have known you can't lock any of the boys' bathrooms. Leon's face right now. Look at Leon's face. He thought it was locked. The killer could easily make that mistake, thanks to one important detail about the scene of the crime. What is that? The killer was convinced the bathroom door was locked, so they didn't know that the door actually couldn't be locked. In other words, the important detail about the scene of the crime that they didn't know was the crime took place in Sakaya Sayaka's room. The crime took place. In other words, the important detail about the scene of the crime that they didn't know was the crime took place in my room. So they thought it was Sayaka's room because uh, the doorknobs were switched. Remember? Yeah. I got it. The killer must not have the, the, realized the main that it were was switched. my room. What? Are you saying the culprit didn't even know where he was? That's inconceivable. Mm-hmm. And yet, he's absolutely right. The nameplates were switched. I remember now. Say what? Say well, what? to be more specific, what the killer didn't know was that Makoto and Sayaka had switched rooms, which is what led to the misunderstanding about the bathroom. If Sayaka had been in her own room, then... Then there would have been a lock on the door, and they would have had to break through! So they had no idea how unnecessary their actions were. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, we can't know if it came open by force or simply by accident, but... The killer must have been considerably confused, with no idea how they actually got the door opened. Regardless, it was a pointless act. Wasting time trying to break down a door that wasn't locked is... Stupid. Definitely something I wouldn't do, since I would have known exactly why it wasn't opening, right? No shit, Makoto. <laughs> that is a definite possibility. I love how he's like, right? Right? As if, it, as if he didn't know that the whole time. So like, the killer <laughs> would have to be someone who didn't know they'd switched rooms? Then Makoto couldn't have done it. But I've been trying to tell okay. you, losers. Then who did do it? Leon. I'm sorry, but I give up. Quit without saving. <laughs> but what happens if we can't decide on who we think did it? We all die. Well, why don't we just vote right now? Majority rules. No. Majority we have more rules? evidence. You really think that's a good idea? Yeah. Our necks are on the line here. Someone seriously needs to do something. For serious. Does no one have any other thoughts or questions? It does not matter. Leon's how been hella sus ever since this whole thing happened, man. Oh, his face. As even. a matter of fact, I do have one question. What is that then? Oh, you. <laughs> oh, you. You don't gotta sound so disappointed. Yeah, Celeste, come on. It's fine. It's fine. Just ask your question. Oh yeah. Okay, so. Um, well, I was just wondering, how did the culprit get into Makoto's room in the first place? Hmm, yes. How did the killer get inside? Good question. Maybe Sayaka just dropped the key somewhere and the culprit picked it up. That's possible, right? Leon. Look at the way it is, even his movement. He is sus. I don't think so. That seems way too convenient. Then, maybe someone picked the lock? Negative! If you remember, Monokuma made it quite clear that the locks are all unpickable. Hmm. Fine. How about this? The killer got in the easy way. She let him in? They let could her have in? knocked and said they wanted to talk or something, and Miss Maizono just... Let him in. I don't know though. She was on edge that whole time. Like she didn't want she. I told her not to open the door for no, anyone. Remember? That can't be it either. Yeah. Oh, 
Trying to argue against me? Sounds like someone doesn't know his place. Shut up, fat boy. Oh, why exactly can't that be it? Oh, this guy, man. But she asked me to do something in particular because of how frightened she was. That's the answer right there. There's no way I could let someone in because... Um, bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, I think it's... Uh, switching rooms. I think it's this one. But I could be wrong. Let's try it. I got it! Because Sayaka was already scared, yep. remember? That's why she asked me to switch rooms in the first place. Yeah, so she wouldn't just let anyone in. Same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? See? I remember that conversation. Knowing what she'd been through, I just can't believe she would have opened the door for anyone. What if her being scared was a lie? Huh? Hmm. Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Why would she lie about something like that? I know you don't want to consider it, but look at this and tell me. Can you still deny the possibility? Look at what? Come see me in my room, check the nameplates to make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? Sayaka. There's something I want to talk to you about, just us two in five minutes, come see me in my room. Check the nameplates to make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? I found a notepad during my search, and I shaded in the top sheet with a pencil. Ha! Huh. What the and hell? And these are the words that appear. Oh man! I've totally seen people do that on detective shows. Yoko is a little bit of a detective. When you write, it can leave an imprint. Sketch over the next sheet of paper, and you can see the words. When I saw that, I That's was like, so holy crap. I better make sure I rip the paper out before I use it from uh, now on. I don't know. It's a pretty old-fashioned technique. But even the classics can be surprisingly useful sometimes. Why would you... Hmm. Oh, and I should also mention. I found the notepad on the desk in Makoto's room. Huh? Which means, only someone who had been in Makoto's room before the incident could have written it. Right, okay. Then either it was Makoto who lived there, or Sayaka who switched rooms for a single night. So, Makoto, did you write this? No. No, I didn't, but... Of course you didn't, because the note also bears a perfectly legible signature. Sayaka's signature. And that note, Sayaka wrote it. But, but why? Why would she write that? The note was likely her way of getting in touch with a certain someone. Why would she switch rooms to do that, though? That's the confusing part. She must have slid it under their door to let them know she wanted to meet with them in secret. If you got an invitation like that from the ultimate pop sensation, what young man could resist? <laughs> Of course, I'm only into 2D, so it wouldn't have any effect on me. You fucking weirdo. But can we be sure anyone even got this note? And honestly, even if they did, I do not think they are at all involved in what happened. Huh? What, what? makes you say that? <laughs> Would you like to hear what I have to say? Very well then, pay attention. Shit, okay, here we go. Here we go. I have to look for a piece of evidence here. What's our uh, dorm nameplates? Yep. Okay, let's hear it. Sayaka and Makoto switched rooms, correct? Yes. But in the note, the place they were asked to come to, it specifically says my room. I see. So if someone read that note, then they would have gone to Sayaka's room. Exactly. The room that Makoto was No, that's no, not correct. Wrong. All right, because we had the dorm nameplate switched. The nameplates on Mai and Sayaka's rooms got switched. They got switched? Someone must that's have switched right. them. That's right. The nameplates got switched, just like the rooms themselves. As a result, the nameplate on Sayaka's room actually had Makoto's name. 
and the nameplate on Makoto's room had Sayaka's. So what you're saying is, the room Sayaka was staying in was actually marked as her room. Yeah. Then, if someone did do what the note said, they would end up at Makoto's room where Sayaka was. It's true. Plus, their rooms are right next to each other, so switching the nameplates would be no problem. <laughs> Mondo's face right now. <laughs> and the one who switched the names was... Well, of course it wasn't you, right, Makoto? Right? Okay, then who did it? You. There's only one person who could have switched the nameplates. The only other person who knew we had switched rooms. The killer, me, Sayaka. But it must have been Sayaka, right? I got it! All right. Me and Sayaka were the only ones who ever knew about us switching rooms. So why would she switch it? So the only other person besides me who would even know to switch the nameplates was Sayaka. It makes no sense, though. This is, uh, it's gonna all come together, I know, but why even bother switching rooms in the first place then, just to switch the nameplates? There's gotta be something with my room specifically. You can also infer as much from her note. Something I want to talk to you about, just us two in five minutes, come see me in my room. Check the nameplates to make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? She specifically tells the reader to check the nameplate. Hmm. She would only have written that if she knew the nameplates had been switched. But why would she switch them in the first place? That's what I'm confused about, Chihiro. She wanted someone to come to the room she was in, and also hide the fact that it was Makoto's room. What? Inviting someone to your room, but not telling them you'd switched rooms. Why would anyone do that? I don't know. To understand that, we first need to understand what happened after she invited the person into the room. That's where the answer lies. Maybe she tried to kill that person. Is the only thing I can think of right now. Maybe Sayaka tried to kill whoever she invited to the room. And then that's, hmm. That's how the whole struggle happened. That's how she ended up dead. She was trying to pin it on us. That would be insane if that's the case. What happened then was probably whoever she invited over came in and attacked her. We figured it out. We know who did it. Whoever she invited over is the culprit. We don't culprit. know who that is though. <laughs> but we still don't know who it is, you goddamn idiot! <laughs> Sayaka fought with her killer there in the room, yes? Perhaps the answer it's to Leon. our previous question this lies in that initial struggle. Yes, I think you're right. Then... We just have to figure out what happened during the fight, right? Yep. That reminds me. There was a replica sword at the murder scene. Was that perhaps used during the fight? Potentially. Oh, yeah. What's the deal with that sword? Sayaka suggested I should hold on to it. I thought it might come in handy if I had to defend myself. It seems pretty likely that the killer used it to break Sayaka's right wrist. How the hell could you possibly know that's what broke her wrist? The reason I know Sayaka's wrist was broken with the fake sword is because when you look at her wrist, there's no doubt. Um, you can see that the um, the gold stuff is on it, right? You can see that the gold glittery stuff is on it. I got it! All you have to do is take a good look at her broken wrist, and it should become pretty clear. Right there where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery there. See? Is... is that gold? Indeed. It sure is. Specifically, the gold coating from the replica sword. You barely have to touch that stuff, and it'll stick right to you. And there's some on her wrist because... I got it! Because she got hit with the sword, right there on her wrist! I... <laughs> yeah, no, that's it. You solved it, you cracked it. I see, I see. And so the key draws ever closer. It does. All right, then it's about time to solve this mystery. Let's do it. What happened in my room and what led to Sayaka's death? That's what we need to make clear. There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Would you like to hear more? Yes, but first I need to pee. Let me hear more.
Are you getting used to these non-stop debates? Starting with the next debate, I'll start loading multiple troop bullets into your truth cylinder. But just like with the weak spots, only one of those bullets can actually refute the proper statement. In other words, from here on out, you'll have to combine the right troop bullets with the right weak spots to refute each statement. If you come with the wrong combination, you'll take damage to your influence gauge. You can press the left bumper to rotate the cylinder and choose which bullet to fire. Press and release the left bumper to cycle through each bullet. Or you can hold down the left bumper and use the left stick to uh, select a specific bullet. By the way, if the logic difficulty is set to kind, fewer bullets will be loaded into the cylinder. For our purposes, this time the logic difficulty will be set to mean. Oh, damn, that's mean. Okay. Make your argument. Replica sword sheath, kitchen knife set, replica sword. Okay, let me hear it first. I don't know when the fighting what broke out, the culprit grabbed the sword, and that's when the first blow was dealt. The sword base sneaked <laughs> at And that's what broke Miss Mizono's wrist. So she tried to fight back. She grabbed the kitchen knife and hid it away. But then the culprit took that from her too. And they killed her with it. And that's exactly what happened. Yeah, I don't know what the hell was wrong with that. If the person with the uh, with the sword really did attack first, there's no explanation for how a certain part of the sword go a sword got damaged. Ah, the sheath. Okay. When the fighting broke out, the culprit grabbed the sword, and that's when the first blow was dealt. The sword big. No, that's wrong. Actually, no. I don't think the fight started with the sword. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Because the sword sheath had been scratched. See? There's a gash in it. Like someone cut into it with something sharp. A kitchen knife, potentially. Something sharp? You mean like the kitchen knife? That was the only sharp thing found at the scene. Yes. Stop jumping ahead. Slow down and explain it so I get what the hell's going on. Port Mondo. If the sword was used first, there wouldn't be any explanation for the scratch on the sheath. Yep. If you were going to attack with the sword, you'd take it out of the sheath first, right? Right. That's true. With the sheath on, it'd be heavy and bulky and useless as shit. I'm telling you, Sayaka was trying to kill that person. Okay, so how did the sheath get damaged? And then damaged? she was going to switch the nameplates back on her way out. Little scumbag. If they got attacked with the kitchen knife, maybe they grabbed the sword as a defensive impulse. In that situation, there wouldn't be any time to actually unsheath the sword. So you're saying the sword was initially used to defend against an attack from the knife? Yep, seems that it way. Means whoever had the kitchen knife was the one who attacked first. So, Sayaka. I think I get it. So here's how it all played out. The culprit came in, found the kitchen knife hidden there somewhere. Then they took the knife and attacked Sayaka before she knew what was happening. I don't so think she so. grabbed the sword to defend herself. But then the culprit took that from her, too. Then, after they broke her wrist with a sword, they took the knife and finished it. Sorry, but I don't think Sayaka used the sword to defend herself. Yeah. What? How the hell can you not think that? Because she never held the sword at all. There's a certain part of her body that makes this clear. If you wanted to use a sword, which part of your body would, uh, your palms, right? I got it! You're talking about her palms, right? Yeah. The palms of her hands were perfectly clean, so I don't think she ever picked up the sword. Mm hmm How can you know that just by looking at her palms? Because the glitter. Like I said before, the gold coating on that sword comes right off. All you have to do is touch it. Mm-hmm. In fact, if you look, you'll notice that a lot of the gold has already come off the handle. Yep. It's safe to assume that's because whoever used the sword got some of it on their hands. There's really no way she could have picked it up and come away completely clean. 
Maybe she washed her hands after she escaped into the bathroom. Yeah, I'm not sure Sorry, about that one. <laughs> but I don't think so. Why do you say that? Is it because you think I'm ugly? Yes, that's why. You are ugly, Fukawa. That's it. With your bloody giraffe neck. Get out of here. No, that's not it at all. <laughs> There's a certain regulation that talks about what happens to the bathrooms. That, oh, yes, the water um, the water was off at night time. According to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's time of death was around 1.30 a.m. In other words, at night time. And the water in the bathroom shuts off at night time, right? Right. Oh, I didn't know that. Actually, I haven't taken a shower here yet. What? Oh, my. You're no different. You smell like a big, fat, ugly donkey. <laughs> hmm? I'm not sure whether to take that as an insult or a compliment. How would you take that as a compliment? An insult, obviously. <laughs> So anyway, if Sayaka never touched the sword, then that means the killer is the only one who used the sword. But hold on. If that's right, then the one who damaged the sheet with the kitchen knife was... Sayaka. I got it! Sayaka? She had the kitchen knife? I thought we discovered this already. But we already said that the attack started with... The person with the knife attacked first, and the sword was used as an impromptu defense. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I knew this. I called it ages ago. Then the one who attacked first was... Sayaka? Now do you understand? She wasn't a blameless victim in this. No, far from it. It's almost as if she'd been planning to commit a murder of her own. Yep. She took the knife from the kitchen, then invited the culprit to the room she was staying in. And if it's true that she had the kitchen knife and attacked without provocation... Indeed. These are all the actions of an assailant. Which brings up another point. Makoto, Sayaka was the one who suggested you two switch rooms, correct? Correct. Maybe the reason she was so that oh. she could pin the crime on you. I mean to skip that, that, my bad. That is a possibility, is it not? Leon's face. Sayaka wanted to... On me? That would also explain why she would switch the nameplates. She was gonna switch him back. She wanted to get whoever she had targeted to come to Makoto's room where she was staying. And by committing the murder there, instead of her room, that would implicate Makoto. But for that to work, the target had to be lured out while still keeping the room swap a secret. If the target knew she had switched rooms, they would have become suspicious right away. Mm -hmm. So all that's why she switched the names? But doesn't that plan seem a little risky? For one thing, even if her plan worked, Mr. Naegi would just tell everyone they'd switched rooms. Good point. I don't know. I'm not sure our soft-hearted Makoto is capable of that kind of cutthroat behavior. I'm sure Sayaka realized the same thing, which is why, out of all of us, she asked him to switch rooms. Taking advantage of our good nature. That's messed up. Plus, she was the ultimate pop sensation. A totally forgettable kid. Or a national superstar. Who are you more likely to believe? Wait, then you're saying she had this all planned out? Holy shit! But in the end, her plan backfired. She launched her attack with the knife, then found herself under attack in turn. See, Leon's being awfully quiet during the parts where we actually are really discussing this stuff. I don't know. That must be when her wrist got broken, mm -hmm. and she was forced to drop the knife. The tables were suddenly turned on her, and she died at the hands of the one she planned to murder. Just hold on! That can't be true! Because... Because... Hey! Hey! You guys have totally derailed the argument! You're being super boring right now! <laughs> Come on, hurry up and decide who did it! Wouldn't it be awful if I had to punish you all just because you ran out of time? 
Oh, yeah. We gotta decide who we think did it. I don't know. Makoto, right now you just need to concentrate on figuring out the answer to this mystery. If we can't uncover who murdered Sayaka, it's over for all of us. Except the killer. Is it really all over? No, it's not. Obviously, I'm committed to finding out who killed her, but what can I do? I mean, as far as clues go, there's nothing left. There's a few things. There's a few things left, right? Dying message. Oh, yeah, like 11037, like some number or something. It's easy just to say, hey, decide who did it. But there just aren't any more clues, right? Very well. And let's review all no, the clues didn't mean to do we that. found Shit. up to this point one more time. Shoot! That was my fault. Shit. I, I shot the wrong one, man. Just took too it's long. It's easy just to say, hey, decide who did it. But there just aren't any more clues, right? There is. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. There is more clues. There still might be one clue left. Sayaka's dying message. Dining? Wait, wh what did you say? Dying. The dying message. She wrote something on the wall behind her, remember? One, one, zero, three, seven. Written in her own blood. There must be a clue about the killer hidden in there. Well, before we get too far into that, I need to ask, can we really be sure that Sayaka is the one who wrote it? Mm. Right wrist, fatal wound, left index finger. Left index finger was... She had the blood on their left index finger, right? I got it! I think her so. Her left index finger had blood on it. Yep. I remember. That could only be because she used that finger to write the message. I see. She broke her right wrist during the fight, so she'd have to use her left hand to write. Sure. I think we can all agree Sayaka wrote it. But still, what the heck do those numbers mean? One, one, zero, three, seven? Yeah, I don't know. I thought maybe it was like a word backwards, but I don't think it is. Like, what could it be? Re... Real? Hey, Chihiro. You're a computer nerd or whatever, right? You should know all about numbers and shit. <laughs> no, that's not... Yes, I'm a programmer, but I don't see any kind of meaning in these numbers. Of course. It's because they're not numbers. Oh, maybe I was right. Oh, yeah, it looks like... He doesn't know. Huh? What? What? No, it's just... Uh, look at the numbers, assuming they're not numbers. Don't these first two, one, one look less like two numbers and more like one letter? Leon, it says Leon. The L is upside down. Ah, oh, you're right. The connecting line is barely there. So I assumed it was one one, but. Leon. <laughs> Looking at it now, you could also read it as an N. Whoa, you might have finally just said something worth a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was Leon! Cells are really getting excited now. But even if that really is an N, N037, doesn't make any more sense than before. Because it's backwards. It's no use, I just don't know. Rotate the image 180 degrees. Oh my god. Now I see. She oh, wrote down the killer's name. Huh? You just shot past the clue part and right on to who did it. So, who, whose name did she write? Fucking Tommy. Select someone. It's Yamada. It's Fukawa! Leon, I knew it was you, buddy. You little ginger scumbag. Here's my answer. See you later, buddy. The 
key to solving this mystery was simply to rotate the writing 180 degrees. If you turn the message around, it becomes the letters L-E-O-N. L-E-O-N. Or more accurately, Leon. What? What the hell are you talking about? It's just a coincidence. I knew it was you. I see you were being sus the whole goddamn time, man. It's you just scumbag. a bunch of random squiggles that happen to look like my name. Yeah, I'm sure it is, Fuck. No, it's not random at all. She wrote that message on the wall behind her as she was leaning up against it. In that position, she couldn't move to write normally and had to write upside down, as it were. And as a result... When you look at it standing in front of her, it ends up getting flipped. Try it for yourself if you want. Write something sitting like her, and the letters will be inverted. Mm-hmm. That, that sounds like one hell of a stretch to me. I don't think it does. I'm the killer? You can't just go and say shit like that. If you're not the killer, then why did you try to destroy the evidence? Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? The evidence Leon tried to get rid of? The ginger hairs? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Um, where is it? Trash duty, the burnt shirt uh, piece. Here we go. With the blood all over it, huh? I got it! Come on, then. You mean the burnt shirt piece I found laying on the ground by the incinerator, right? Mm -hmm. As the killer stabbed Sayaka, they must have gotten some of her blood on them. And to dispose of the shirt covered in the victim's blood, they threw it into the incinerator. But one piece burned off and got left behind. And the killer didn't notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. Isn't that right, Leon? <laughs> what? 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 But is one scrap of fabric enough to conclude that Leon is guilty? Yeah, I mean, Leon's not the only one wearing a white button-up. That, that's right! There are plenty of other people here with shirts like mine. With just that one little charred piece, there's no way you can say for sure who it belongs to. You're right. That alone isn't enough. But there okay, are some we got other more points, points that may reveal the truth. Are you finally starting to understand? I mean, she literally wrote his name, for God's sake. The answers to all the riddles are right here. Yeah, I think so. The burnt remains of the button-up shirt, which the killer wasn't able to get rid of. There's something about it we need to pay attention to in order to figure out who's responsible. How it was disposed of, where it was disposed of, and when it was disposed of. Where? Because it was, um... Like, how we would have got in there, right? Shoot! I'm making a fool out of myself now. So it is really how. That's what I was gonna pick first as well. I'm such it. a dickhead, man. If you look oh. closely at how the shirt was disposed of, I'm stupid. we should be able to figure out who the killer is. All right. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good point. I, I think I know what you're gonna say. You can't reach the incinerator without opening the gate in front of the trash room, right? Yeah. And obviously you wouldn't be able to hit the switch to turn it on either. You need the key to get in. And the one with the key was the person on cleaning duty. Mm -hmm. So the killer had to be whoever was in charge of taking care of the trash. Right? No. <laughs> Interesting. That was you, Yamada. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this was going to have that kind of reaction. There was another way to use the incinerator without being the one on cleaning duty. And that's exactly what proves that Leon is the real killer. All right. I don't know what that what that is actually. Shattered crystal ball. Okay, yes. Ba -da -da. The key to the trash room. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash. And you'd have to get close to the incinerator in order to destroy the evidence. Which means the only possible suspect is whoever had the trash room key. Okay, so the person who would have had the trash room key was... Huh? Me? No! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we need to run through that again, so... 
There absolutely was a way to use the incinerator without using the trash room key. The killer was able to turn the incinerator on by using something I found on the grind nearby. Yep, the shadow the crystal ball. Okay. The trash room. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? And you Okay, so this is the part where we gotta get rid of it. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. Hold on. I think I know how someone could dispose of the evidence without using the trash room key. But if you can't get past the gate, you couldn't possibly turn on the incinerator, could you? You could. Yes, you could. If you used this. What is it, some kind of glass ball? It's busted to hell. Actually, it was supposed to be a crystal ball, but, uh... But how would you use it? Throw it. Roll it. Divine with it? What the fuck does divine with it mean? I, say got throw it. It. I don't know how you would divine with it. The killer simply took aim at the incinerator switch and threw the ball through a gap in the gate. All they had to do was hit that switch and the incinerator would come to life. Someone threw that... through a gap in the gate? Mm-hmm. Remember what you said before, Hifumi? Someone turned the incinerator on. Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Perhaps it was the work of a fairy. Hifumi had the key. So the only way the incinerator could have been turned on without his knowledge was because the killer was able to hit the switch without opening the gate. And that's how the piece of the shirt came off as well. He, he threw it. The sleeve must have came over Once the they edge. Once they got the incinerator going, all they had to do was ball up the shirt and toss it in. Hey, come on. What the hell is this? All you have to do is look at the scene to know that the killer never actually went inside the trash Yeah, he room. never would have left the sleeve there otherwise. The shards of broken glass, the incinerator left running, the piece yep. of shirt that escaped the fire. It's true. If the killer had been on cleaning duty, the evidence would have been taken care of much more thoroughly. Yep. Back, well, Leon, wait, no, you're done, son. Hold on. You're but done. The distance from the gate to the incinerator has to be at least... He's a baseball feet, right? player! <laughs> the pinpoint accuracy you'd need to throw a glass ball that far and hit something that small. Yeah. Could someone really do that? A baseball that, player. That's could. right. There's no way. It'd be impossible. Difficult, absolutely. Impossible? I don't think so. Because the killer is the ultimate baseball I star. Got it. Because the killer is the ultimate baseball star. Isn't that right, Leon? Do you, Leon? do you have any idea how stupid you sound right now? A target 30 feet away would surely be little challenge for the ultimate baseball star. Facts. You, you, you can't be serious. I, I'm not the killer. These goddamn shipper brains have got it all wrong, I'm telling you. You still won't admit it? Okay, then. Makoto. Go ahead and review the incident one more time to make his crime perfectly clear. And with that, we can end this. Listen to me! What the hell do you mean, end this? Say what you want, Leon. But all the questions have been answered, and the truth has been revealed. You're done. Now here's what happened. The closing argument is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Absolutely. Tell me. Every case has one last element to bring the class trial to an end. This is the closing argument. In this phase, you'll give a complete summary of the case. You'll have to reproduce the flow of events for the case in the form of a comic book. However, you'll notice that in the comic, there are a number of pieces missing. It's up to you to complete the comic using the provided truth panels. Also, if you take aim at a missing section and press the A button, holy cow, you'll get a hint that might lead to a breakthrough. Well then, good luck and have fun, okay? Sounds good. Climax inference. Okay, so we're starting from the left, going. we're going from right to left. That was the confusing part for me. All right, so I think this one's first. And then this part here. And then this, which makes sense, I think. And then this, because she's uh, she looks like she's just had her wrist hurt here. And she runs into the bathroom. And... 
Sorry, that goes there. That goes there, and then this goes here. Right? I think so. I think we got it. I think we nailed it. So let's just walk through this so we don't have to use every piece of evidence. So that piece of evidence is already on here. So first off, he comes to the door right here and goes to Sayaka's room. And then this here, um, she comes out, surprises him, tries to attack him, blocked. And then he breaks her wrist. And this is where this part is right here. And then here, she's already has her wrist broken and she runs into the bathroom. He tries to open the bathroom. Uh, she writes Leon while she's being murdered here. And then he finds this, cleans up the house, um, gets this, throws it in, turns on the incinerator, uh, throws in the, the shirt, but a piece falls out. And then this happens here. The I think that's it. The killer is you. The killer is you. I think I'd better take one more look back at the case from the beginning. All right. So, there we go. He comes Last inside. Night, the killer went to the room Sayaka was in. In other words, my room. From what we can tell, Sayaka invited that person there intending to kill them. All right. She attacked them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier. But then something happened that she wasn't prepared for. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room and fought back. Indeed. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. Done. And that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. She Finding runs into herself the bathroom. corner, Sayaka panicked and ran into the bathroom. The killer went after her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily, and there was a trick to opening it. Sayaka knew about that because I told her, but of course the killer had no way of knowing. Of course. So instead, the killer forced the door open, took the kitchen knife, killed her and stabbed Sayaka. But with what strength she had remaining, Sayaka left a dying message. To keep the killer from noticing, she wrote it on the wall behind her. And with that, all her strength was gone. With you found Sayaka it? dead, the killer quickly began destroying the evidence. First, they took off their shirt, which was covered in their victim's blood. Roll, roll, roll. Then they took the lint roller in my room and cleaned up the entire area. They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been there. Hmm. We figured it out, boys. Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. It wasn't too difficult. I'm assuming they get a lot more difficult as time goes on. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there. But the trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate, preventing access to the incinerator. Mm. So they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball, which he'd left in the laundry room. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate and hit the incinerator switch. What a lovely little baseball pitch right For there. For any normal person, that'd be an impossible throw. But the killer had the confidence to take a shot. And that's because the killer was the ultimate baseball star. Indeed it was. The crystal ball, thrown with absolute precision, hit the switch on the incinerator which then quickly roared to life. And he, got, he would have got Having away with it too if it wasn't for them meddling evidence, kids. They left the area with, I imagine, a sigh of relief. But there was one thing they missed. Yeah. 
part of the shirt they'd thrown into the fire burnt away and fell out of the incinerator. The killer didn't notice this, and so left behind a piece of indisputable evidence. Mm-hmm. Gotcha, Leon. Isn't that right, Leon? Gotcha, sucker! It would appear that Hero simply forgot his crystal ball in the laundry room. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt, and that's where you saw it, right? Seeing the ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. So, Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? Do I object? Hell yes, I object! Of course I do! I object, I object, I object! I mean, all of this is just a bunch of stupid theories. You need evidence. Where's the evidence? Without evidence, it's all bullshit. It's bullshit and I refuse to acknowledge it. Well then, I guess this is as good a time okay. as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. All right, what's Makoto, the evidence? I believe you're in possession of that evidence. Are we? I am. I have the evidence. Your first bullet time battle is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Yeah. Sometimes during a class trial, your opponent, uh, your opponent simply won't want to hear what you have to say. When this happens, you will engage them in a head-to-head -head battle. We like to refer to this as bullet time battle, aka the BTB. All right. During the BTB, you want to destroy your opponent's statements in time with the rhythm. All right, let's do it. When the killer removed the screws from the doorknob, they didn't use anything from your room to do it. Ah, he used his own toolbox. Instead, they must have used something that belongs to them. Let's see your toolbox, Leon. I refuse to acknowledge you. You're stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid. All right, we need to figure it out. Let's go, Leon. Come on. You lie. Shut up. You kidding me? Not a chance. You lie. Final strike. Okay, Where's your shit. Proof? The toolkit. This should prove it. Boom! See ya, baby. All right, we did it. God damn. Okay. Sweet. The screws on the bathroom doorknob were removed. Yeah. See your toolkit, huh? I wonder what kind of tool the killer used to remove them. I did notice the screwdriver in the comic. I was like, but he didn't use my toolbox. I, I was mean, thinking that. It had to be a screwdriver, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure the toolkits we got each had one inside. Then that must be what he used. There aren't any other tools anywhere. But the toolkit in my room had clearly never been used. Yeah? That's because the culprit didn't know it was your room. They thought they were in Sayaka's room. Only the boys got toolkits, so the killer naturally assumed there wouldn't be one in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, then whose toolkit did the killer use? His own. Stupid, stupid, stupid! <laughs> it had to be their very own toolkit. Stupid, 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 stupid! Leon, right. would yeah. you mind showing us your toolkit? If I'm right about this, then the screwdriver will show some evidence of being used. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Huh? And if you say you used it for something else, you'll have to explain exactly when, where, and why. And let me say this right now. Guys, we know it's him. Let's just vote. I lost it isn't an excuse at this point. Stupid. Stupid. All right. Pretty obvious it was you, Leon. I mean, we've known it's him for about 30 minutes. So, We're just trying to provide, no like, hard evidence. Then it would seem we are finished here. Indeed. All right. You were defending yourself, Leon, but it's the way of the road sometimes, pal. The way of the bloody road sometimes. The last one was a C, but I got an A overall. Okay, sweet. 73 medals, holy shit, okay. <laughs> Looks like you've reached your verdict. Then are we ready to cast our votes? You all have a lever in front of you. Use it to make your selection. Oh, just to remind you all, Make triple sure you vote for someone. You wouldn't want to be punished for something so minor, right? I guess so. All right. Okay, then let's get excited! Let's get ready to rumble, Marakuma! Who will be chosen as the Blackened? 
Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? I mean, it's pretty obvious we got it right at this point, I think. <laughs> Everyone voted Leon. Woo! Guilty as charged. Guilty, guilty, guilty. <laughs> right on the money. The black in this case, the one that kills Sayaka, yeah! was none other than Leon Kawada. Huh? Sorry, Leon. Hey, hold on. Hold on a second. Leon, Leon, did you really kill Sayaka? But... I don't believe it. You son of a bitch. The hell's wrong with you? I, I didn't have a choice. Let's kill or be killed. So that's why none of you are any different there's complete chance that I wound up like I this was just <laughs> unlucky that's all mm -hmm. so why did Sayaka choose him to try and kill us what I'm wondering hey come on you expect me to just accept my death Everything's become clear. The decision we made was right after all. But when I think about it, honestly, I'd be better off if we'd been wrong. Because if what we came up with really is the truth, then that truth is that Sayaka was trying to frame me. But even if that's true, I can't say she was wrong. After all, the mastermind, it's all because of that video. Yep, Monokuma, you scumbag. I mean, my video is pretty bad too, though, you know? <laughs> Now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. What? Can't afford what? to be stuck in here. The one thing that was more important to her than anything else, her dreams are friends. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it, even some things that weren't so pleasant. I hope not worse than what you tried to do here. That's why she betrayed me. So when she said, No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. Mm. She was lying to me from the very beginning. She was using me. Is that why she talked to me in the first place? I guess I'll never know. Because there's nothing I can do to ask her what she was thinking. Once you're dead, that's that. The entertainment industry must sure be terrifying her. I mean, try to kill someone just because of those relationships. She seems so nice and lovely on the outside, but inside she descended into pure madness. What did you say? Phew. I understand. Really, I do. Yep, yep. You're in utter despair thanks to Sayaka's betrayal, right? Compassion, intimacy, love. The stronger those feelings, the stronger the despair when they collapse. Stop screwing with us. This is all your fault. Sayaka being forced to do something like that. All of it. Everything. It's all your fault. Suddenly in a frenzy, I lunged at Monokuma. Oh no. That's enough. Oh, Kyoko saved your life. Kyoko's the goat, honestly. Her grip was like iron. Strong enough, I was sure it would leave a bruise. Calm down. You need to let it go for now. Yep. Ba -bam, She's right. Ba -bam. I thought you were going to give me a good walloping. Just barely avoided punishment, you did. Yes, indeed. The black and Leon Kawata will receive his punishment. What? Punishment? Sorry, right, Leon. Oh, you mean execution? Wait a second. Sorry, Leon. Yeah, that's it. Is that okay? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you understand? Celeste is right here. You had any number of chances to stop what you were doing and you didn't. You chose not to. You had an unclouded intent to commit murder, so my friend. That's I've had enough of this. Oh. You killed your precious Sayaka, do you understand? I can't say Leon is solely to blame. Of course I don't plan on blaming Sayaka either. Because, because the one to blame is him. Huh? <laughs> 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 
We shouldn't be fighting each other. We should be fighting against the one who put us in this situation, the mastermind. Unbelievable. Hey, um... An unwavering sense of justice. After all, it's people with that sort of mentality that perpetrate war all over the world. Hmm. Is that the kind of justice that's awakened within you? Just shut up, man! Hmm. <laughs> anyway, more importantly... Drills, let's hurry up and get to what everyone's been waiting for, the punishment. I'm yeah, I am kind of waiting. You. Please, don't do this! Hey, come on now! Society demands it, Leon! Stop! Please! Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! I'm done. No, 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 no! Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! This is messed up. No! If I even want to see this. Game over. Leon has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. In use. Oh, Lord. This is messed up. This is fucked up, dude. God damn. Leon, you are very dead, sir. Yikes. Absolute yikes right there, boys. That was the true face of despair. I mean, if we can't call it that, what else could we call it? Extreme! This guy's a psycho, man. I can't take it. We really have to keep doing this? I just can't take it. Well? <laughs> all you gotta do is swear to cut all ties with the outside world and accept living here forever. But that's only if every single one of you can get on board with that. <laughs> Damn you! No, because you're not at all. You're a great guy, Monokuma. Hey, what? A uh, dark, awful, secret society type of bear. Well. <laughs> An upstanding young citizen like me through such a grueling ordeal. Hey, it Seems um... like you're trying to use common sense to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. That's like trying to put a mile on a scale. I just don't think it's possible. Um... <laughs> 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 Shit. I don't know who you are, but I'm going to pound your ass into the ground. <laughs> You must really hate me to get so angry, huh? If you do that, you're barking way up the wrong tree. Yeah. What happened? Because more than one of you decided you wanted to get out, right? No matter how much time passes, you can't cut free of your regrets from the outside world. You're to blame. <laughs> of course we can't cut free of the outside world. Being trapped in this insane place... Mm. Yeah, we're trapped. I think, boy, isn't it so wonderful how we all get to live here forever? What does this mean? Hey. Thrills, anyway, chills, let's get to the black and punishment. That's what everyone is waiting for after all. My dog is. Hey. 
Sorry, I said everything I've got to say. I need to save some of the fun for later. <laughs> Everyone. Okay. And he's gone. Leon's dead. Sayaka's dead. The other chick is dead. What was her name again? I can't remember. Everyone just lost their sense of time. We were all too scared. Scared of being alone. Everyone's just making noises. Just a second. All right. Kyoko wants to talk to us. She moved in close and whispered Makoto. into my ear. There's something I want to talk to you about. It's about Sayaka, isn't it? I'm surprised you figured Listen. it out. I told you before the class trial started, you had to figure out the mystery of this case yourself. You wanted me to realize how Sayaka betrayed me by myself, didn't you? The thought never even crossed my mind. I feel like such a fool becoming such an easy it's target true. like that. Sayaka meant to double cross you. That's a fact that you can never change. But even till the very end, she wasn't sure of her decision. That's why as she lay dying, she was thinking of you. She was thinking of... Wait, what? You can't just say something like that. I mean, there's no way you can know that. Only Sayaka would know for sure, and we can't ask her now. However... You can infer it, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. By so... writing Leon's name. That's true, I guess. Maybe she just wanted to get back at the person who had killed her. Certainly. But I don't think that's what it was. Anyway. She was uncertain. She wasn't sure she could kill someone or deceive you. Which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. Right. It's almost ironic when you think about it. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you can move past the deaths of your friends, Sayaka and Leon, and keep moving forward. Correct. Without someone like that, the others would never be able to break free of such a desperate situation. Move past their deaths, question mark? I could never do that. I'll carry them with me forever. I'll carry their memories with me wherever I go. But instead of forgetting them, you're choosing the hard road. <laughs> I have high expectations for you. As she said that, she revealed the smallest smile. Hey. By the way, I have to admit, I'm curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Sayaka? Oh, well, I'm psychic. What? <laughs> Joking. That's funny. He uses Sayaka's, Sayaka's tagline. Chapter one, to survive. The end. All right. Surviving students. 12. There's 12 left out of the 15. To be continued. All right. That was a very, uh, very fun trial. I gotta say, it was a, uh, it was interesting. You received the despair bat. Great. Do you want to save the data? Yes, I do. And that's where we're gonna end this video as well, guys. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like. It's the best way to let me know you enjoy the content, and I will make sure to keep this going, um, potentially if you guys want to see it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.